Mr. Dubinsky, I have one final question. What is the title of this hearing? The title was The Basis for an Impeachment Inquiry of President Joseph Biden. But according to Speaker McCarthy, there isn't a legitimate or meritorious basis yet for this hearing. And no amount of noise on the other side of the aisle is going to change this. As Speaker McCarthy said in his words, this impeachment inquiry is devoid of any merit or legitimacy. Wow, I just did it. At the very end of an extremely contentious hearing, I found something that Speaker McCarthy was correct about. Thank you very much, Mr. Comer. Um, Mr. Dubinsky, do you believe that this impeachment inquiry has merit? Again, I'm not a, um, a legal scholar. I'm a forensic accountant. I think from what I've seen, there's merit for the inquiry to, to look for other information now. Okay. So I'm going to say yes, you believe the impeachment inquiry has merit. Yes. Ms. O'Connor, do you believe this impeachment inquiry is legitimate? I don't know enough about the House rules and how things are supposed to work here to know whether it is or not. Okay. Mr. Turley, do you agree? Would, do you think this impeachment inquiry has merit? or is legitimate? I do. I think that they passed, the, the House has passed the threshold for an inquiry that's separate from the question of the articles of impeachment. Thank you very much. A veteran of several impeachments said that an impeachment inquiry without a floor vote by the Congress would, quote, create a process completely devoid of any merit or legitimacy. Mr. Dubinsky, who said that? I, I don't know. Ms. O'Connor, who said this? No if clue. Mr. Turley, who said this? I made an objection along those lines to the earlier decision from Speaker Pelosi to go forward without a House vote, and I've made the same objection today that I think the best practices in going forward is to do that. And what I've said in my testimony is that it's not required under the Constitution. Correct. So Perf 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 I oh. we're my time. I'm, I agree with you. We're not talking about whether it's required legally. I'm just asking you, can you say again for the committee, do you know who made this statement, and if so, who? I don't. I've made an objection along those okay. lines. We're clipping my time. This quote is a statement from now Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Mr. Dubinsky, do you know the date of the House floor vote on this impeachment inquiry? No, I don't think there was a House floor vote. Ms. O'Connor, do no you clue. remember any House vote? I have not been following that. Uh, Professor Turley, was there a House vote on this impeachment inquiry? And not that I know. So this House vote didn't happen. There has not been a House vote to move forward with this impeachment inquiry. So we haven't followed what the Speaker himself, Mr. McCarthy, has said is the process that we should be following so that an impeachment inquiry would have merit or legitimacy, which is something that I think all Americans on both sides of the aisle should expect investigations or inquiries like this to have. I think Americans should be able to expect that the things we do in this body have merit or legitimacy. Today, by having this hearing, Republicans have changed their tune. I think I know why Speaker McCarthy is going back on his conviction. His members are demanding an impeachment, but their months and months of investigating our president have not revealed yet any evidence that he himself has committed crimes. But Speaker McCarthy wants to keep his job, so he is set on delivering an impeachment inquiry, whether or not there is any evidence, and even if, in his own words, that impeachment inquiry would be devoid of any merit or legitimacy.